Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. That is right, Mbaku has hit the scene today, just a few minutes ago, actually. So we're going to go ahead and unlock him, we're going to take a look at him, we're going to do the normal profile, take him into Blitz, and just see how he performs and look at his animations and stuff like that. So, But first, before we get into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So Mbaku, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. We're going to take a look at our odds here real quick. So we have obviously the left and right pillars as usual. You've got your ability drops, resource drops, and gear drops on both pillars. And then it looks like anywhere from six shards as per usual up to 180 charge a 0.13 percent to get that will we ever get it probably not but you know what we're gonna keep opening orbs and one of these days if we do it long enough and when i'm old and gray it just may happen but let's go ahead and jump into there and see how we do okay we got eight orbs let's see what we got first one ah nothing spectacular he kind of looks like mr t to me <laughs> right i mean look at that that's mr t all right come on let's get some nice ones let's get some purple ones or a gold one i am not i'm just getting the minimums for the most part Look at that. Gosh, you know what? My RNG luck continues. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's go. What do we got? How many more do we got? One or two? That was it. We got 52. Obviously, it's enough to open them. Uh, we've got 18,000 gold. And uh, we've got some blue material here to help us out a little bit. So let's go ahead and unlock him. <laughs> of course. All right, come on, stop it. All right, new recruit. There we go. You know, I was looking at his model, and and I probably say this every single time, but I swear the artwork for these models are just getting better and better. Look at that on his shoulder. That is really cool. Yeah, I really like him. I like Mr. T there. All right, let's recruit him. All right, so there's um, there's Mbaku, aka Mr. T. We got some cool abilities over there. We're gonna go over. So let's go. We're gonna go ahead and power him up, and through the magic of editing. That's gonna be in just a half a second for everybody out there. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade him, get him up to as far as I can, and then go through his kit, take him over into Blitz. All right, and there we go. So this is where I got him to. I didn't wanna go beyond this because um, in order to get sure, I wanna save as many resources as possible for the Spider-Verse team. So I went ahead and took him all the way up until he needed purple material for his gear. And then I did go ahead and use some purple material for his ability. So I got him at uh, all fives and then two right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take him and then we're going to bring him into Blitz and take a look at his animations, which uh, I'm hoping are pretty cool. I haven't really seen him yet. So, all right, let's go ahead and look at stats. He's at 54,000 health, 3667 for damage. Um, his speed is at 88. Now remember, for a tank... That's not bad. To have low speed is good because then your taunts are going to last longer. So I think that's, uh, I, I don't think that's bad at all. And then we're going to take a look at the rest of his stats here, which are all kind of middle of the road here. 54,000 for health at where I have him now is not really too bad. And he does have a heal ability. All right, so he is the noble leader of the Jabari tribe. 
who protects his own and relentlessly assaults his enemy. He's a hero global mystic, protector, and Wakandan. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at his abilities. His cudgel slam. Cudgel, cudgel, however you say it. Attack primary target for 220% damage. And then on target dodge, bonus attack for another 220%. So he's going to dodge your... If your opponent dodges your first attack, then it looks like you're going to get a, you're going to get a second chance at that anyway. And as you level this up, you're going to go ahead and just increase that damage on your primary and secondary attacks. All right, his special. Gain taunt plus one to two counters. 75% chance to gain plus one charge. Up to a maximum of five. This whole team is about charges. You got you, uh, you got Black Panther who charges up. You got Killmonger who charges up. This guy charges up. So what are we going to do with charges this time? We're going to see that a little bit later. And then as we level this up, we're going to always gain one charge rather than the 75% charge. And uh, up to a maximum of five. And then at level seven, gain plus two charge. And you're also going to gain plus two counter, which is awesome. All right, especially when you got that taunt up and you know that people are going to be attacking you. You got that counter. That's that's really cool. All right, Jabari Avalanche. All right, let's take a look. Attack primary target and all adjacent targets for 220% damage. And on kill, chain to target adjacent to your primary. So you're going to hit yours. And if you kill that guy, so it's going to benefit you to use this ability on an enemy that you're going to kill right off the bat because then you're going to chain to an adjacent target and then attack that target and all of their adjacent targets. So I wonder if that happens, if you can do another chain after that. So let's say you, you kill your first... You, uh, your first enemy you chain to the next one to hit the adjacent targets there if you kill another enemy will that happen again i don't know that would be cool if it did we'll see if we can get in a situation where we can test that out and then as you level that up you're going to do an increased damage another uh, you're going to add an additional 100 percent damage to your primary and secondary targets all right, here's, this is where the charges come in. So on defense up, heal for 5% of max health. If already at max health, then you're going to add an additional defense up. And then while in charge, gain 75% block chance and gain 5% block amount per charge. And then when you do a block, you're going to go ahead and lose that charge. Now, at level 3 here, you're going to add plus 5% um, healing. Then at level 4, while in charge, gain 25% chance to block. So this is going to go up to 100% chance to block right here. And then you're going to add a, a, another 5% healing at level 5. So we're at, what, 5, 10, 15% healing? And that's where that, that high health that we saw on him is going to really come into play. And then plus 5% block amount per charge. So that's going to go up to 10% block amount per charge. And if you have a maximum, you have a maximum of, what, 5 charges? So you got a 50% block amount there. That's pretty cool. If I did my math right. All right, and there's his ability. Sounds pretty cool for a protector. We're gonna go ahead and take him into Blitz and see how he does. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking out. I'm gonna start taking out Spider Man. We'll do this, gain our offense up. So I went ahead and stuck him with this team because I got three of the Wakandans right now. I have Kingpin there for the defense up, and I just threw Doctor Strange in there because I really never play with them a little bit at all. So we're just gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do that. All right. All right, so what do we got for his abilities here? We have attack for every target for 220% damage and on target dodge, bonus damage, so that's good for Spider-Man. Gain taunt, plus one to two counter, 75% chance to gain plus one charge, and then up to, uh, that up to a maximum of five. We're not gonna do this one just yet. Let's see how this works on Spider-Man. Does he dodge? Nope, he doesn't, but we take him out. All right, let's do defense up. Boom, all right. So we got uh, DP there that got the, uh, the uh, deflect, and then M'Baku did the defense up again. So he's got two defense up. All right, we're going to hold off on that a little bit. Let's go ahead. Go ahead and do this. Have some fun with that. Got some offense down over there. 
I've got one charged here. What does this do here again? On crit gain offense up. Alright, let's see if we can get a crit. Let's see what we got. Yep, crit. We got offense up. There we go. We slowed down the Hulk. Alright, what do we got now? We have... Alright, let's go ahead and do the taunt. There we go, got our counterattack. We're also gonna go ahead and pull these guys out as well. All right, and then let's go ahead. All right, so now we got the animation to watch. So as far as M'Baku goes, animations are pretty mediocre. But I mean, how much can you really do with that, right? So it's all good. The abilities are pretty cool. Just seeing the abilities and how these Wakandans are starting to work together, the more we see, the more excited I am about them because it seems pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and go after... We're just going to go after Venom. I really don't have any rhyme or reason. It's just... Why not? That was a cool attack. Boom, and the counter. <laughs> Knocked him on the head. Bonk. All right. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Smack him up the side of the head again. Oh, and the assist, very nice. All right, I do not have, I'm not gonna waste the ultimate for him. There we go, we've got it charged now. All right, let's just get rid of him. Boom, nice counter. Let's go ahead and work on her, why not? I know she doesn't do much, and he does more damage, but you know, I'm just gonna do it anyway. All right, let's do this, just because. All right, we'll do this. I just love that, that's pretty cool. And we got the crit, so we threw that out there. Boom. All right, and might as well do this just because I haven't seen this animation yet. Smash. I think we saw that in probably one of the trailers. All right, I'm going to times three it now. We'll speed this stuff up. So those are all of his animations. Pretty basic. Nothing really fantastical again, but, you know, what can you really do? There we go. All right, so I like this team that I have them in. It's just... It's just a fun team. Let's see if Spider Man dodges this. Nope. Take care of Jessica. Oh, we should. Oh, his mask is off. Has his mask always been off? I don't think so. I got it. I'm going to have to watch that back. I'm just going to use this because... Boom, <laughs> just took out Spider-Man with that. Alright. Let's go ahead and flip some of those. Boom! Look at all that. That's awesome. Alright, let's see if we can get a crit off this. Nope. Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it went back and forth between the two. Alright. So not bad. I like this team that I have them in. I got the Wakandans there, and I've got Kingpin for it. This fist slot, you can probably put almost anybody in it. I just threw Doctor Strange in there because I never really play with him. And look at yeah, his mask is off. All right, I'm probably asking for it with this one, but I chose a Kree team. Let's go ahead and see how we do up against this Kree team. I have no idea how this is going to work out. See, look at his mask is on, so his mask disc did get knocked off. That's funny. We're going to do this so we can get up the offense. Let's go ahead and flip those. Perfect. 
All right, let's keep focusing on Minerva because I want to get her taken care of. Uh, what are we doing here? That's that. You know what? I am going to do that. The goal is to take out Minerva first. Get that attack on Minerva for that defense up. That worked out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Take care of her. That's the way we get rid of her res. We get rid of all that. Now we're going to focus on Ronin. And this team is pretty even with where I am. I'm going to go ahead and use this, see if I can get a crit. Yeah, we did. So we're going to do some AoE damage to everybody. Boom. That looks good. Let's do this as well. Boom. We did not take him out, but we did some pretty hefty damage. So he is gone now. Boom. There we go. All right, let's take care of her over there. Critical hit. So not too bad. So this team, so my team, my team's at like a 79k. This team here, the team I chose is at like a 72k. So they're pretty even. So not too bad at all. So there you go. We just took out the reworked Kree team. And there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you tonight. That is M'Baku. I like him. I really do. And I'm really starting to like this Wakandan team. So having three of them and taking them into Blitz just to see how they perform was really cool. I can't wait to get Shuri in there, but it is cool to have Kingpin in there so you can do that defense up and get the benefits that that gives the Wakandan team. So I think I'm going to level Kingpin up along with the Wakandan team just as that Shuri surrogate. <laughs> <laughs> um, if that's the right term. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, because I think that's probably the best character for that. Anyway, there you go, everybody. That's what I had to show you tonight. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. I truly appreciate it. And if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.